Britain blamed Russia for the poisoning, the first known offensive use of such a nerve agent on European soil since World War II. Moscow denied any involvement and suggested that Britain had carried out the attack to stoke anti-Russian hysteria. British Prime Minister Theresa May said the scrypals were poisoned with Novichok, a deadly group of nerve agents developed by the Soviet military in the 1970s and 1980s. Russia has said it does not have such nerve agents and President Vladimir Putin said it is nonsense to think that Moscow would have poisoned Skripal and his 33-year-old daughter. The attack prompted the biggest Western expulsion of Russian diplomats since the height of the Cold War as allies in Europe and the United States sided with May's view that Moscow was either responsible or had lost control of the nerve agent. But Moscow has hit back by expelling Western diplomats, questioning how Britain knows that Russia was responsible and offering its rival interpretations, including that it amounted to a plot by British secret services. Both Moscow and London have accused each other of trying to deceive the world with an array of claims, counterclaims, and threats. Playing with fire at a UN Security Council meeting on Thursday, Russia warned Britain that you're playing with fire and you'll be sorry over its accusations. Given the twists and turns in the affair, British and Russian diplomats have variously claimed the mystery to be worthy of Sherlock Holmes or of an Agatha Christie who done it. In an exchange at the United Nations, the ambassadors of Britain and Russia quoted extracts from Alice in Wonderland at each other. The hospital in Salisbury said it was providing the medical update in response to intense media coverage yesterday. Russian state television reported that Yulia had phoned her cousin in Russia and told her that she and her father were both recovering and that she expected to leave hospital soon. Since emerging from the John L. E. Care world of high espionage and betrayal, Skripal lived modestly in Salisbury and kept out of the spotlight until he was found poisoned. British police believe a nerve agent was left on the front door of his home. Skripal's cat was put down by British authorities. His guinea pigs were discovered dead. When a vet was able to access the property, two guinea pigs had sadly died, a British government spokeswoman said. A cat was also found in a distressed state and a decision was taken by a veterinary surgeon to euthanize the animal to alleviate its suffering, the spokeswoman said.